All right, it is the end of April. I'm here kayak fishing. I'm gonna be using these black shag gulps today and I'm just gonna be dropping them in whatever feet I can. I should be able to see schools of smells. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give a quick little tutorial of my kayak, what I like about it, what I've changed on it. And then we're gonna hopefully get out and try to catch some fish today. Yeah, I have it on a trailer. I have a quick little video of how I did that. I put a little toolbox right there for all my extra stuff. And basically this is just a jet ski trailer. I've converted into a kayak trailer. I've got retractable ratchet straps right here that I use just to tie the, uh, the kayak down. Super duper easy. I got them from Amazon. And I just have some little boots I bought right here just to protect the shape of the kayak since it's a $4,000 fishing kayak not a big deal so what i'll do is i'll work my way from work my way from the front all the way to the back and i'll just try and make it super simple there's a lot there's a lot that goes into the fishing kayak so the idea here is to just make it as super sweet as simple and uh yeah so basically nothing too crazy i got a front little hatch right here I just got some first aid there and I keep a little camera right here. If I pull this out, you'll be able to see the electrical for the kayak. There is a battery I mounted right there that powers the fish finder right there. And it also powers my GoPros. And I'll get to that in a second. This little thing slides in right there. Boom, this way nothing gets wet so it's dry. Uh, this is the little hole right here for the Mirage Drive to actually fit in. This is our 180 turbo fin Hobie Mirage drive. It is pedal driven. Your feet basically just slide right in here and here and you're able to just kind of use it like an exercise bike. Uh, it does go forward and reverse. There's two little latches right here. If I pull this one, the red one for reverse, knows how the flaps are gonna change. So now if I'm pedaling, I'll be going reverse. If I wanna go forward, I just pull this little green one that says forward on it and boom. That's how this mechanical thing works. Super easy. Basically just kind of snaps right inside there. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, we're gonna get into our little workshop right here. This is where you sit right here. This comes off. It's super retractable. You can turn into a beach chair. Straps right down. It does have lumbar support. If I tighten and look, loosen this right here, it does kind of retract and loosen the, in, the webs inside the seat here. Super duper easy. Um, yep, I got my uh, Hummingbird six inch screen on a Yak Attack mount. That is easily, easily usable. Um, basically got my wires, ran all the way through these little holes that Hobie gives you. And essentially all my wiring is underneath the kayak so this way nothing has to be exposed. I do have some USB chargers right here for my GoPros. Those loop underneath here and then they pull out right here for two GoPro chargers, USB-C. Specifically, you can put your phone right here. You can put whatever inside this little center console here. Got some sunscreen, my fishing license for the game warden and whatever else. Um, yeah, basically this is just my little workshop right here. Um, you got decent amount of space right here. You got some rails right here. These are track mount here, 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 and all over the boat. They Ab boat is absolutely littered with it uh, I just keep my pliers right here my little grips for bigger bigger fish right there rod holder nothing too crazy I like to call this the little workshop area I'll start to work my way to the back here yep gotta have an oar um, in case that thing fails for whatever reason since it's just nuts and bolts I got a dry bag right here this is a cooler I mounted on to the actual kayak um, pretty sick setup I like it um, basically what I keep in here is I just keep my little, all my little soft plastics and then I got all my lures in these little trays here. I only brought what I specifically need, but you can take these out and I can use it for live bait or for fish if I want to keep something. But, um, I try to keep it super simple. I did mount some rod holders on it for all my rods and stuff. Gotta have a speaker, waterproof JBL, you know, gotta be jamming when I'm since I don't have a motor, I gotta be listening to some kind of music. This is how I transport my kayak. These have two little um, two little thingies right there. And there's two scudder holes right here and here. And basically that can slide right up into there so I can push that kayak out and basically wheel around, do whatever I want. 
yeah, and I do have a little storage bag right here for clothes and stuff. But, um, and then, yeah, then you got a little scutter hole right here. This is the actual rudder right here. If I drop that down, this is how I can actually use these right here to control it. If I just yank this down right here, it'll drop that. And then I can use these to control my boat while I'm using my Mirage Drive. Nothing too crazy. But uh, that's just a general overview of my fishing kayak. And so my favorite thing about it is how compact it is. Um, how compact it is, how easy it is. I don't have to worry about spending a ton of gas. I don't have to worry about using a ton of electricity. It's, I get a little, quick little exercise every time I go out. And the reason I got a fishing kayak versus a bass boat because I had a bass boat for two years and it wasn't a real bass boat. It was like a $3,000 um, John boat with a 40 horse on it. I like to zip around on it. But honestly, being on a fishing kayak made me a lot better of a fisherman because instead of zipping from spot to spot, I just kind of realized I can't go as very fast. So I'm kind of forced to be stuck in those areas and actually fish them and work them. And I realized how many fish I've been going over because I've caught more fish in my entire life on this fishing kayak than I ever have in any boat but yeah super excited i'm gonna be launching this very soon getting it out on the water and hopefully i can catch some fish and see what happens i'm super pumped and if it just be nice it's just gonna it's gonna be a nice day it's the it's the end of it's uh pretty much the beginning of spring it's april 28th to be specific it is the beginning of the smelt run which are bait fish that travel through the streams and go out into the water and then all the, the lakers and salmon and everything eat them so yeah super pumped see what can happen and uh hopefully i can catch some fish all right we finally made it out to the open water let's fish come on fish come on show me where you're at Got one. Oh, I got one. Chill. Chill. Oh, he ain't chilling. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Let's go. Woo! Got a smallie. And he's big and he's pissed. Let's go, look at that fatty. Did he get my worm? He did not. Aha. Look at that. Look at the belly on that thing. Damn, bro, he is full. He or she, they got that redness in the inside of their mouth there. Look at that toad. Damn, he is chunky. All right, we're gonna set him free. Uh, and either way, I just have that. I'm just using that Ned Rigs and these uh, these Gulp Black Shads, four inch, but they are working perfectly. I'm not even gonna measure him, but that's a nice bass right there. He's chunky. We'll set him free. Sweet. That, that one might have been close to three pounds. I could have weighed him, but I'm gonna say he's two and a half. He might have been three just because he was a little chunkier, but we're, I'm just gonna repeat the same sequence again. So there's a river right there, enters the water. There's like pretty much a reef there and I'm just casting it right on the edge. Nice one. Oh, yes. Oh, that one's bigger. That one's bigger. That one's bigger. 
Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> That's two in a row, baby. And that is how it's done. Ow. That is how it's done. Look at that. Same, did the same thing twice and it worked. Beautiful small mouth. Hell yeah. All right, let's set him free. This is a killer spot right here. You try different things and eventually something will work out. That's all I know. Uh, I think you, it's a lot easier to fish when you're standing up. Like I can feel my lure a lot more versus sitting down. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Oh, that's actually a good fish. Oh, he's coming to the top. It's a small mouth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can grab him. Sweet. And he's chunky too. Look at that hook set right on the top there. He destroyed my gulp. Look at that. That's a nice small mouth right there. Look, he's chunky. Oh, there you go. Look at all this. You can see how deep the water is right there. It's literally 20 feet. This water is just crystal clear. That one. Oh, yes. Small mouth. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. He's pissed. Come on. Come here. Come here. He's like all flared up. Dude, he is chunky too. They're all like, they all have a big gut on them. Like what are, they must be just packing on these smell. All right, we'll, we'll set them free. Down he goes. Man, these gulp, these black shads are killing it today. I'm almost out. They don't, they don't hold up very long though. The kind of material that they are, it's not like a, um, like a Guggen soft plastic where it's just gonna hold up and like not get torn up. These things get absolutely dummied by these bass. But they smell and they work very well and they look very much similar to smelt, which is the kind of bait fish that's strolling through here. Not even one o'clock yet. We have a hit. What was that? Oh, it's another small mouth. There we go. It's a unique little way to unhook it. Look at him. Look at that. Another beautiful small mouth. Uh, I literally just caught a fish and I forgot to press the record button. <sighs> Got one. Got one. Oh, I don't know what it is. Is it a smallie? It is a smallie. Oh, that's a large mouth. Oh, it's a nice large mouth. Damn, let's go. Yeah, it's a nice one. Look at that. Hell yeah. Beautiful fish. Let him free. Sweet. Okay, no way I don't get a fish here. No way I don't get a fish here. Come on, fish. Eat it. Oh, man, I want a fish so bad. I want a big, chunky, chunky fish right now. There we go. Ah, uh, little guy. 
There we go. I'm counting it. It wasn't that big. I didn't need to net it. No service, beautiful Adirondacks, zero complaints. We're living. We are absolutely living today. Sometimes I just reel it in and I just kind of do 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 do. Just kind of slowly vibrate it. Reel it. Slowly vibrate. Reel it. Slowly vibrate. That's it. That's a fish. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a beautiful smallmouth on Lake George. But we'll set him free. Sweet. Now I've actually got something. Now I actually got one. Oh, he's got some size to him. Sweet. Lake George smallmouth. We'll set him free. I'm out of here. It's been a good day fishing. Thanks for watching everybody who did and uh, we'll tune in to the next time.